Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Infosec Train. My name is Bharat and today I will be discussing you threat hunting interview questions. So, our question number one, what is threat hunting? So, as you all do know that threat hunting is one of the most proactive approach in the industry in order to identify the threats which are in uh, our infrastructure or in our system. So, in order to summarize threat hunting in a one-liner definition, threat hunting is a proactive and a human-driven approach in which in multiple iterative methods we try to look or we try to identify the adversaries into our organization so how do we do actually uh, do that particular part so that is basically we do hunt for their ttps we do hunt for their behaviors we do hunt for their patterns which overall helps us in order to identify the threat before it has caused the major impact into our system so that is what we do call as threat hunting then our question number two. So what is the one of the major important parts on which threat hunting is derived? So one of the most important part on which threat hunting is derived is hypothesis. Every threat hunting basically uh, does have its scope as per the hypothesis. Now what is hypothesis? Hypothesis is an assumption which we do take while doing the threat hunting in order to determine our scope and in order to determine what sort of data needs to be tested or what sort of data needs to be investigated. Question number three, how many types of hypothesis it can be? Generally, there can be multiple different types of hypothesis, but the major of them basically includes three of them. The very first one is basically threat intel based hypothesis. Now, in this particular type of hypothesis, what we are doing is we are actually looking out for threats as per our intelligence being has given a tip off. So what threat intelligence is being given to us if we do try to create a hypothesis, which includes the data, which includes the information which is being given by threat intelligence. That's what we do call as threat intel driven hypothesis. The next type of hypothesis is situational awareness hypothesis. Now this particular type of hypothesis is basically derived on the basis of the assets which we do have. Every organization does maintains their asset register or risk registers, right? So on the basis of that, when we are creating the hypothesis by thinking of our most critical assets, which attackers will try to attack into, that is what we do call as situational awareness based hypothesis. Number third one is hybrid hypothesis, where we do actually take situational awareness and we do uh, even include our threat intel and on the basis of that when we are combining both of them including our threat intel for our critical assets that is what we do call as hybrid hypothesis thank you